Hi there, my name is Luther Blacklock. I'm a master PGA professional and I'm based in my state-of-the-art indoor swing studio in the city of Milton Keynes. And I'm giving you some quick tips on how to break 80. I've got four par fives in the golf course, try and play those in one under, but play them as three shotters, okay? So it happens at the Masters, the long hitters, they may not be able to get to the par fives in two, but they can wedge it close and they can get well under par on the par fives even though they can't get there. So it may be the same in your golf course. So let's just suppose you get the ball in play on your par fives, play them as three shotters, you should basically play the par fives in level to one under if you're going to break 80. So on the tee, you can't make birdie from the tee, all you can do is put the ball in position. So don't put yourself under stress. If you can't get it in two shots or you're strategically laying up, you're just going to get the ball in play. Now on this particular occasion, I'm going to hit my driver and I want to hit the ball with a bit of draw. So I'm going to set up the square and I'm going to go inch around the circle to my left. That means now I'm aiming at the right side of the fairway. I can now coil and release without fear of the ball going left. So there's the ball starting down the right hand side of the fairway. Just catching the semi rough, but no harm done. So remember, you can't make a bird off the tee, get the ball in play, and if you hit a decent tee shot, it means the second shot, you can really get the strategy right for your third. So you're thinking back, you're thinking about where you're going to chip from. Where you chip from is where your second shot comes in from, and the second shot relies upon a good tee shot. So use your mind, don't try and hit the middle of the fairway, hit the right edge and hit a draw, or aim at the left edge and hit a fade. 